Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is your man, Cat with Cat Fitness. So, I got uh, some questions. Somebody hit me up in my DMs. It's like, Cat, you know, what kind of juices do you drink, right? Do you do you drink juice? And I was like, yes, I definitely drink juice. Um, but I don't buy juice from the store <laughs> like I once did. I don't go to the store and buy uh, the Sunny D and all those kind of juices, those processed juices uh, from the store because they have a, a lot of sugar in them, right? Um, I, I I just, you know, make fresh juice. So for this particular video, I'm going to show you an easy way. You know, right now, got some seeded watermelon right here. Um, I wanted some juice this morning to start off my day. I have this watermelon. So what I'm going to do as you can see, just cutting into the watermelon. Uh, it's real simple, y'all. Y'all pay people so much to, to make your own juice, and it doesn't even taste half as good. So just get you whatever kind of fruit you like. Today I felt like making some watermelon uh, juice. Real simple, just slicing it up, putting it in my little uh, my Vitamix. So just taking some watermelon, throwing it in here. Boom, boom. Let me see. I'm gonna cut some. I got a whole bunch of watermelon still left in here. I love that y'all ask me these questions because, you know, making the, all the content. Great way, also. If I'm not eating watermelon for breakfast, then I'm making, you know, some kind of juice. And uh, also, also uh, making my green juices. You know, sometimes I wake up and want a green juice, which is like I use cucumbers. I use celery. I use apple, all those kind of things. But today I felt like, you know, something a little bit different making these juices yeah so great easy recipe just cut you up half a watermelon or a quarter of a watermelon however big it is depending on how much juice you want to make and how many people there is just cut it right out you can leave the seeds inside i leave the seeds inside um actually once it's all blended up you can't even tell that there's seeds in there cutting it all out so mind you, probably have like half a half a blender cup of watermelon. Um, you can take you a little bit of agave. You don't got to use a lot. Just just a little bit, a little dab, a little dab of agave. Boom. Throw that on top. Take a little bit of water. Sprinkle that on there. Boom. Got some water. All right. Check it out. This is how quick and easy you can make your own fresh, fresh juice at home, y'all. Hold on. Blend it up. So I'm gonna grab a cup real quick. What's up, y'all? What's going on, everybody? Give me one second to grab a cup. All right. So today, for those that are just hopping on, um, I've been asked, do I do I personally drink juice? And I was like, yes, I drink juice, but I don't drink the processed juice. Um, what's up, Timeless? What's going on? I don't drink the processed juice. I don't go to the stores and buy the Sunny Delight and all that kind of stuff anymore. I just, if I want some juice, I take a couple minutes and make some fresh juice. So I had some watermelon, seeded watermelon at the house. Cut it up, threw it into the blender, added a little bit of agave, added, added some water, 
And guess what? Cheers. Boom. Now that's some juice, y'all. It don't get no better and more refreshing than that. When you have juice freshly made at the house, it's a whole different taste. It's simple, easy. Just cut you up some fruit and throw it in the blender. A little bit of water, a little bit of agave, and you winning. Cutting out all those chemicals that we put it in our body. Just do it yourself. I appreciate y'all asking and getting, you know, asking me to make the video and everything. So continue to DM me, uh, letting me know what kind of content y'all want me to make. So I appreciate it. Yes, yes. We are back. Sorry about that. Um, it's not a mixture. It's just straight watermelon juice. Like I said, uh, I cut up a seeded watermelon, real simple. Put a little bit of, uh, a little bit, just a tiny bit, a little bit of agave, a little bit of water. Boom. Freshly made. All right. For more videos like this, you can find, follow me on any of my social media platforms. Check me out on Cat Fitness 3 on IG, Cat Fitness on Facebook, Cat Fitness on YouTube. And definitely, oh, once again, uh, thank everybody that's been supporting y'all, the Heal the Hood movement, right? So Heal the Hood, we come into a hood near you. We starting off September 19th in the Bayview District of Bayview Organic Farms, going out there, feeding over 300 people a, a fresh plant-based meal and passing out fresh produce as well. We're also going to have uh, health speakers on certain topics. So definitely make sure if you're in the city or you know people in the city let them know to come through uh continue to support we appreciate all the donations that we've been receiving all those that have been picking up the plant powered brothers t-shirts and hoodies which pays directly for somebody to get a meal in the community as well so each time that you purchase one of our plant powered brother hoodies or t-shirts you're actually purchasing somebody a meal so that's directly affecting somebody so if you're interested in getting uh, some apparel you can go to the link in the bio uh, pick you up a hoodie pick you up a shirt because that's also going towards all our feedings um, San Francisco September 19th we're going to be in the Bayview uh, October 10th we're going to be in West Oakland at City Sick City Slicker Farms, and then October 24th, we're going to be in Richmond at Natruli's Herbs and More, uh, and then we got another location. I got to get that finalized. I got I was on the phone yesterday talking to some people in another city, another major city in California, uh, about November. So that's yet to come. I'll keep everybody updated on the dates, but continue to donate and support because it's continuing to grow and get to more cities. We're able to educate more people on the health benefits of plant-based nutrition. Why? Because we want to help lower the risk of people suffering from obesity, uh, high blood pressure, diabetes, heart disease, cancer, uh, helping people boost their immune, uh, immune system by natural foods whole foods right the way mother mother nature intended it right so we're going back in the community and doing our part to make the change so man i just wanted to share that with y'all thank you once again we will see you in the next video y'all peace